You see the balloons, nigga? You see the balloons? You see the balloons? In the gold? You see the balloons. No, no. Uh, appreciate the 1K. You know? Appreciate it for tapping in. And it's really all thanks to y'all. All thanks exactly. to y'all. Exactly. Y'all putting that work. And now you know, look at us. I'm going to give me that green iPhone. Hey, <laughs> Oh, we only trying to get bigger, you feel me? Keep you know, going. Yeah. Keep working. Now we just need three more zeros. Yeah. yeah. God. Need eight more zeros. Gonna yeah, pass PewDiePie. Right. Ten more zeros. I ain't gotta work a nine to five, god damn it. And neither do y'all. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to be inspirational. <laughs> Nigga, nobody's talking about you. Shut your bitch ass up. Who's talking about here? <laughs> neither do y'all. Yeah, yeah who's talking about me? Yeah, I was talking about him. What did I say? Anyways, can you tell someone how to parent their kid? Yes. Can you? Yes. You can. My but... grandma used to tell my mom how to parent me. But that's her grandmother. No, no, no. Like, stranger. Like, will y'all, your kid fucking up, like, being bad in the store and someone comes if I see, If I see a lady with her child and her child sitting there acting all bad, I'm like, hey, hey. You know what I mean? You should. You, you, depends on like, race, you can't you threaten know? to hit him. What do you know? mean it depends on their race? What does race have to do with anything? I'm not telling a black woman to hit their child because I feel like she's going to hit me. Type. But. Yeah. Nigga, I'll be like, hey. Like, they know what that's going to mean, bro. They're going to know. No, she's going to be like, who are you talking to like that? I know how to. You no, know what I mean? they're not. They're not going to be like that. Like, like, I mean, it depends on the type of person. You know no. what I mean? I don't think it depends on the race. It just depends on the type of person. I feel like it. Like in that episode in the Boondocks, and that nigga told that white woman how to whoop, <laughs> how to whoop her um her child. I feel like I, I never watched like Boondocks. That. Your show. You never watched it at all. No, I wouldn't tell nobody how to parent their child because you don't know that child, so you don't know how they're supposed to be parenting. Like, what if they got something mentally wrong with them? And you'd be like, beat that little nigga. But okay, you can't beat somebody. They can't. Oh, control you said they had a mental. Yeah, problem. they got like I said, Tourette's or something. Nah, let me check. It do, well, yeah, it do depend. Well, nah, if I'll tell them if they were black too. I'll give Race them don't matter. I'll give them advice. I wouldn't tell nobody though. Like I'll I'm not give, giving them no advice, but I'm telling them. Yeah, I'm telling you. taking you offense did. to that. You don't have to be all like hit that nigga. Like you no, can pull you, to the side and be like, hey, you don't man, have to hear you, bro. Hit that man. But you don't lie about it. You feel me? You don't know that child, bro. So they're gonna take offense to that. Like how you gonna tell me how to, you know? But that little nigga in the store throwing milk. Okay, that's what. Like he's just crazy. he in there acting the whole ass. Like, oh, you talking about in the store? Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. Like, we, in general, like, scenario of being in the store. That's how I'd be at Walmart, bro. I swear to God, it'd be like little kids yelling and screaming. They literally go on the aisle and just. Yeah, they. Oh, if you who if you stand at the end of that aisle, you had to pick all that shit. I just shake my head. Like even my manager, he was like, some little kids just mess up the whole aisle. Can you clean it up, bro? It was so bad. I get shit everywhere. You got clean up too. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's why you gotta beat your kids. My bro. child will never act like that. You gotta beat your kids. Bro. You say that until they go out and start acting like that. Oh my soul, my kid not. Act what like if? That what right if now. like you had like a bad ass kid? Like I'm talking about sneaking out the house. What's that one shit called? Be honest, get straight. That's, That's what you're taking him. Sending him to that nigga. Yeah, I feel like that won't, bro. If you, if, I'm, I'm either okay, whooping their ass or they getting kicked out. Nah, I would have kicked out my child. I'm bro. kicking out my child. I'll, I'll, beat, I'll beat the hell out of them before. I don't I understand them. why parents. No, yeah, I'm beating them out. I'm I'm beating their ass, but. If, if they old enough, yeah. If they, if they get old enough, they still doing dumb shit like that. Nigga, get up. I feel but, like as a parent, if you kick your child out, you just lazy. Yeah, that's like yeah. If they if they, if they sixteen and up, you're not kicking them out. Keep it a wrap. Sixteen no. and up, no. Once they hit ten, I'm boxing them. No more whoopings. Yeah. No, no, I'm boxing them. I'm boxing them when they hit five, nigga. Because if you if Bro, you man. is if you ten, you basically a grown man at that point. And God, you're space, paying man. the bill. So we boxing if you talking crazy. 10 years old? Bro. Yes. Bro, at five, you already know what you're doing. You know right from wrong. Well, you know what you're doing at five. Cause you're right? getting boxed. That's what I'm saying. Okay, bro. five is crazy. Yeah, you don't no, know what not. you're doing at five. I'm like, come on. So, bro, so y'all can remember shit when y'all was five years old? Yes, most definitely. I don't remember Why? nothing past. I promise you. I don't remember nothing past 14. Well, my, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Like, closest memory? What's the word? Oldest memory. Oldest memory. I remember like almost drowning in the pool. I think I was like six. That's when you. That's when you gained consciousness. Was drowning in the pool. <laughs> oh god! Like come probably. On, I remember watching my sister. Mine drown. was pretty bad. Yeah, was... Mine is yours. Google it. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you mean yours is bad? Like yours is pretty horrible drowning in the pool. But I remember um, my oldest memories. My little brother throwing up a whole banana in the seat next to me. That's like that's was, what you think. We was. That's my oldest memory. What do you mean? That's what I think. 
We was my on oldest, church. My oldest memories are the whoopings I had. I can't, like, that replays in my head every time I think of a child. Or riding bikes. That's skateboarding. I can't tell the difference between life and dreams. So, like, I can't really tell you what's, like... What? Nigga dreaming? You on that moon night? Like, what? 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 No, but I can't really tell, like, the difference. Like, I can't really, like... You remember dreams, but you don't know if it was real or not? Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember, like, if I'm... The memory I have is real. Because I remember being at a farm with chickens. You was a slave. <laughs> you slave? No, no. I was just saying, like, that's that's one of my oldest memories I think I have. No, but I don't know life. if it was real. I'm glad it was your past life. I don't think it was real. Ah! I don't know if it was real. <laughs> past life is crazy, bro. Past life is crazy. Do, you, do y'all believe in past lives? Yeah. Nigga. I feel like I was reincarnated. I, be, I think I be seeing people else, like, memories in my dreams. Cause like I be living moments that I felt like I lived before, but I'd be like a whole different person, bro, in a different area. And it'd be like I'd be living. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, low key, but like a deja vu thing, but not. I don't understand that. My dream be so vague. I'd be dreaming about like my dream be so confusing. You know what like, but I'd be like, it should be Did raining. You? I literally can't even explain it. Like it's just <laughs> stuff. Like you know the picture we used to see where it's just yeah. shit in the picture. Okay, nah, you that's how my dreams be. Like, you what? need to go like, talk to somebody. I'd be so confused. Like I had a dream I was fighting this like fighting this girl in an anime. Like I was in the anime <laughs> and she had like these uh like pointy like syringes and she threw one in my neck and I died. Nigga, you need to get off and your you fucking woke. phone. That's what that is. That shit I was deep, you. though. We were you fighting. Woke up? She, yeah, she was like, you died. You woke up. <laughs> I died. I have just one dream. I have, like these series of dreams. Like it's a reoccurring thing. And I'm constantly getting chased by like this dude with a chainsaw. What's wrong with you? What you on, nigga? Y'all need Jesus, bro. I'm and sorry. like, and like, he chases me to this one point, and I fall into a river, and then I wake up. I had a dream I did lean <laughs> last night. <laughs> yeah, like I was drinking lean last night. I had a dream that I was someone else. Like I was, um, I was someone else. I can't even remember. Like I seen him before, but I was like living his life. How do you know what his life is? I don't, I don't know. It was just like, make, I don't know, just living a nigga what if, life. Like, what if, like, we was dreaming the whole time? And we did. Oh, that, but it's just theory that we all really died in 2012. I see God. that. God. Yeah. That shit I saw that. TikTok. But what was I about to say? What's y'all, like, scariest dream I ever had? Oh, bro. Jumping down the stairs in my old house. That was a That's dream. a dream? Like, I would run off and jump down the stairs, wake up, piss all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I had this one dream that was swimming. And I woke up. And the bed was uh was full of pee. But that's, that's not my worst dream. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> what? I swear to God. But uh, my worst dream is um I was having this like it like worst like reaction or like just scariest dream. Can we? Okay, my scariest dream was like um I was getting chased by like this dragon snake thing. A serpent? Y'all need to get off the phones. That's what that is, bro. What? Ooh, daddy, bro. I'm gonna say my weirdest and worst. The worst dream I ever had, where well, I got eaten by a crocodile. Okay. And he like barrel spun me <laughs> <laughs> and ate me. I was in that nigga's stomach just by him. <laughs> and then the weirdest dream I ever had, I had a dream that I got my meat cut off, and then it grew into a Venus flytrap and ate me. I swear to God, that was the weirdest dream. But I was so confused. You were shit. No, bro. I, was, bro. I swear to God, it was like three years ago. You had to be. You had to be. You got cut off. And it grew into a Venus flytrap and it ate That's me. That's so I nasty. Up. Go in the bathroom and check your shit still there. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I was bro, so confused. I had this one dream. I was arguing with somebody. And I think I told y'all that. What? That I was having a dream and arguing with somebody. And I woke up and screamed, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a, that's a life. Is, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, yeah, bro. I, I, I was sweating. I was laid down and I woke up. No, and scream like I don't know how nobody else woke up because I scream so, loud as fuck. That's so light skin. That is some like, movie that light skin. Like, right. Man, I thought right. he was the main character. And I looked around. <laughs> I, I was looking around my room like, what the fuck just happened? To nah, me? Bro. The worst dream I had, I was possessed and I was possessed by a spirit, See, like a junkie it. spirit, and that's it made me do hella saying. drugs and I died. I overdosed. That's why you need to stop with this shit because you, you have spirits following you, bro. That's what I'm saying. What was the weirdest? <laughs> the weirdest. I got touched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being so for real, bro. What? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I think I'm, you dreamed it because I got touched. Bro, no, because cause I was watching a movie. I watched like hella movies of like cases and stuff that happened. Like people, like kids and stuff. What's that? Uh, um, Law and Order? No. Ju- what's that? That little boy. 
Gabriella Julian or whatever his name. I don't know. I no idea. It was a documentary about this little about. boy. It was on his Netflix? Hispanic boy, yeah. Y'all talking about. They was and they, 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 they did him bad. I had a dream about it that I was in. Is it still on Netflix? I think it is. I don't think so. It might. Well, that's I don't think so. I'm talking about. But I had a dream that I was in his position and I got, I went through like shit like that. You got I'm sorry for your loss. This is traumatic. How you have a traumatic dream? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> y'all need therapy. Y'all, bro. y'all, y'all need to learn how to lucid dream. Lucid dream is. I be fun, knowing bro. I'm dreaming though. Y'all be, but every time I know I'm dreaming, bro, I can't stay dreaming. Like, Me I, neither. Sometimes when I'm, dreaming, I'm dreaming, dreaming, I wake up. Oh God! When I realize like, oh, shit, this is a dream, and I try to like control it, I wake, I wake up. up. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm like, bro, I'm and like sometimes it don't be that I decided to wake up. Like my mom would come in my room. Wake me up. Perfect time. Like some shit. shit will happen. I'll just wake up. Then I'll be having a good dream. Did somebody wake me up? I try to get back into the that dream. That is weird. How like when you're at the climax of your dream, you always wake up. That's so weird. Maybe because we can't process it. The government. They they uh, flicking our switch. They say, "Wake up, nigga." Time for school. Because <laughs> no. when I got ate by the alligator, I felt it. I swear to God, I did. You felt it? it? I felt like a crimp in my stomach. I swear to God. That is some wild ass shit, dude. Like I just had a crimp in my stomach. I was like, ah, "Your uncle no. didn't know, did he?" God, your uncle's are <laughs> punching your side. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus came in there, bitch. <laughs> but my um, my weirdest dream was probably like I got dropped in the ocean. And for a nigga who can swim, some like that's some scary shit. shit. Got Jumping off a boat, yes. nigga. And it happened, bro. The dream, I got dropped in the ocean, and I swear to God, the dream was like ten hours long. Like I could, I could feel everything. I was just kind of swimming around this one spot. No. I couldn't get anywhere. If you can feel shit that's in your dream, like what is you can't? No, I could feel it sometimes. I felt cold like, and wet, what? and I woke up and it wasn't pee. <laughs> I felt cold and wet. That sounds oh, crazy. Oh, bro, that's weird. So, you, I, so when you be like... When I'm dreaming, dream. I'm just chilling, bro. I don't feel pain. I don't feel nothing. So what was your weirdest, weirdest dream? My dream. weirdest, weirdest dream... I, bro, I, don't, I can't even remember, bro. The CTE from football. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have joke like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, bro, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> but you had to have a dream where you can feel something, bro. No, bro, I don't... I feel all my dreams. Like, I could feel me taking a shit in my dreams. Nah, have y'all ever like dreamed about <laughs> me taking a shit in real life? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, I don't know what's happening. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? No. What the, I don't even know what y'all you Y'all ain't said. dreamed y'all was on the toilet and y'all woke up with a deuce in y'all. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Oh, my. First of all, I've never used the bathroom in a dream me before. Me neither. Bro, come on, bro. Don't lie. No, bro. Chill, bro. Oh, chill, bro. God, I have never you used chill, the bathroom bro. in my dream, you bro. Chill. What are you niggas on? Huh? You chill. <laughs> So yeah, I ain't never done that before. Man. No, but that's a you thing. Why are you so sad? Come on, we're not agreeing with you. What? <laughs> nigga, that streak. He was like, he ain't smudged it. <laughs> Last week, dog, nigga I woke up. Draws like a candy. Fat ass turd. You a bruh. grown man, bro. Y'all ever? <laughs> like you a grown man? You cheating in your dreams, <laughs> like, bro? That is a crazy thing to do, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Bro, have y'all ever? Um, damn, what was it? You ever feel like 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 when you in a dream and you like start floating? You ever woke? That was the chair. That was the chair. You ever woke up and you like felt like you was ascending when you wake up? No. Y'all niggas be on some demonic. That's no, what I'm saying. No. That's heavenly. I, I, remember, I, I had a dream. That's I had heavenly. a dream. I was getting lift, but I was ki- consistently getting slammed down like this on my bed. I was enjoying it. I was just saying like. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Somebody was beating your ass. Your mama take out that damn trash. <laughs> they were strangling you, Like, bro. I just felt like I was consistently, but, like, the camera was following me. Like, I was the cameraman. I was just following, like. <laughs> so you can see yourself yeah, in your I dream? Yeah, I can see myself just, like. Wait, like, so you don't, have, you don't have first person point of view in your dreams? Sometimes. Sometimes I'd be third sometimes. person. Sometimes, I never sometimes had third, third person, person point of view. It's like I'm watching the TV. I had oh. a dream when I was in GTA. Your show. Bro, yeah, I had a dream I was running, but I could see myself running, but I was like in the sky. So it was like a video game. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a it was like, uh, it was TV, like uh, I was playing surfers. surfers. Yeah, tight shit. <laughs> bro. Um what's damn, what was I finna say? Um mm. I have this like all right, so I think about this shit sometimes. Like I have this theory like you know where you've been in like near death experiences? Yeah. You definitely <laughs> <laughs> like whole time you died. Like you died in that experience, but your consciousness went to another body because it wasn't your time to die. I think I got one of those. With me, no, okay, I don't understand the other body part. Like, 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 there's other beings 
You feel me? There's other yous, like other realities type shit. So we travel another universe. They're like like they don't, they they're just kind of doing their own thing. They're just following their story, and they're not like the main you. And when you accidentally die because that wasn't your plan, and you fucked up. You, you get over. transferred to the other body. Who are we, Kings? Like I don't know. But this is the shit I think about. Like that's valid, bro. Cause like, I don't understand that. Uh, I remember uh, I was in my dad's car, and uh, he had like he had like a gear shift because it's a stick shift. So I was like, "What does this do?" Pulled it like that, and we started rolling. I started rolling. I was the only one in the car, and my dad was getting gas. And uh, the car, it was a fat semi coming. And I don't remember much after that. Swear to God, that's you the died. only thing I remember. I just remember pulling that, and then next thing I know, I was back in the car, and it was stopped. He wasn't in the car. Though. I think I, I don't know what happened, but I could have died. My experience was. You know, I so obviously I swim and shit, like, and I've said it before. I was I was at my uh, my aunt's pool with my cousins, and we was playing, we was water fighting, like fighting in the water, and we had went underwater, and he kicked me underwater, and I started going like to the bottom, and I was drowning, like I was like I couldn't hold my breath anymore, so I started breathing in the water, and the next thing I remember is I just woke up on the um on the chair outside the water, like I don't remember anything after that. Nobody helped you. I don't know. I don't remember. You probably passed out and they took you out the water. I don't remember somebody coming down. I don't remember anything after that. Like, I just remember that and taking it in a breath of water. I remember I I passed out in the pool and I was just floating in the water like this. And I hit the bottom of the floor. And then I woke up at the bottom of the floor. And then I swam back up. Like, that happened to me multiple times, though. Like, my sister used to OD because she'd be scared of drowning. So she, I would carry her around. She would, like, hit me in the head. And I would, like, pretend to drown. But I think I drowned, like, it happened before. Cause I remember one time, like, it was like a little point of view of me just floating in the water, and I was on the floor like this. And then I just woke up. And I'm I telling went. you, I really think that we like, yeah, that was weird. I really think that we um, we transfer our shit into other bodies. Yeah. Like, you got any near death experiences? Nah, I'm pretty safe. Nigga, nigga ran, survived everything. Hmm. Yeah, I play on easy mode. Don't worry. Oh, y'all did something me. different. Nah, you probably got cracked one good time. But if y'all had a, like a dream about a female, say I had a dream with your female like killed you or something. Oh hell, dog! You shouldn't be with that girl if you haven't dreamed Push about her killing you. Uh, Push it down. Jack the oh, bone. You ask him like, do you wake up and confront it or you just? Kinda... Yeah, we were like, How do you? If you had a dream, nah. That's I'm sorry. That's, that's that some, means something, bro. No, that's some. That's some. Toxic that's some shit. yeah toxic that's talky that's if toxic you had a dream shit. about your girl and she does something crazy and you go back and tell her about it you're toxic bro i'm sorry but dreams mean so, bro so get your dreams. spiritual crystal looking ass out of here so bro. dreams, dreams, dreams got to mean something bro dreams got to mean something y'all niggas are so spiritual why did they happen bro. but your brain so spir- y'all y'all so your brain is literally you're not gonna another dimension that has to mean something you realize that? Spiritual, you're not gonna bro. conjure up that For in no your dream in your sleep, you're conjuring up something that intense? Hell no. Nigga, y'all are so spiritual. You're getting yeah. murdered in your sleep by your girlfriend. You're not going to conjure so that. You had a dream. I'm not going to confront her about that. It was oh, a dream. Oh, yeah, but... Do you confront you, yourself you feel, about though? it? No, I wouldn't feel no type of way. I'm like, oh, that shit, that was crazy. You're not going to keep No, I'm not going to keep that. In, no, I'm not going to So you tell me she stabbed you to death in your dream. Every time you around her, she pick up a knife. You're not going to be a little bit... Shit. You're not going to watch her a little bit? <laughs> bro, I mean, I watch anybody with a knife. That's so, I mean, bro, you know what I mean? Like, I feel you, man. Y'all, y'all too spiritual. I man, feel you, man. I feel you, man. Because, like, dog, I'm not finna sit there and think no t- no different type of way about her. She had a knife. But I feel I like mean, she killed me. You, you know, might. say I got into an argument, and then right at that argument, you had a dream like that. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna be like, oh, well, obviously that's from the argument. I'm not finna think that. Big if big. I had a dream about us arguing, and then I woke up and we started arguing, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty ironic. But I wouldn't have thought of nothing else. Other, other no, yeah, you have a dream. That y'all got an argument. She killed you after that argument. Then you wake up and y'all have that argument. What you doing? Your neck cracked like hell. Hell. But, bro, I don't, <laughs> bro, I don't know, bro. That, y'all, y'all too spiritual, bro. Bro, Aaron, what's some like like theories you have? Because I know you probably got some crazy shit up there. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's a, we have a, first of all, first, I feel like it's a dome around her. I don't believe it's a damn. I think so, too. Because, I, bro, I feel like when you go as high as you can, bro, like... I feel like... All right, you see how the ozone layer... <laughs> oh, yeah, what? <laughs> I wasn't going to say nothing. When you go as high as you can, it's <laughs> Like, you know what I mean, bro? Like, I feel like there's nothing... I mean, I feel like there's something blocking that. 
I like, feel, you can't really go up there? Yeah, you I feel, like, I feel like they went to space, and that's when they pierced the ozone layer, and that's why the sun, you know, how the ozone layer has holes in it. I think that's why, because they keep on shit and, like, breaking oh, the dome. Oh, stuff up there? Yeah, they keep on trying to fuck that with the dome, sense, and that's why the sun is, like, oh, burning yeah, us. Yeah, that, yeah. That's valid that's as hell. Valid, that's valid. That's valid. And then my other theory, that we get re- we could get reincarnated as animals, though. I had a dream that I was an animal before. What animal were you? I don't know. I was in a jungle, though. But I was a bird. I remember though. <laughs> if I asked you what animal you were, oh, I don't know. I, I, I remember. I don't know. I was, yeah, I don't know. I was a bird. I was a bird though. But I feel like we could get reincarnated as animals. I feel like that's the thing because you know how they usually used to like praise animals and stuff. Yeah. I feel like we could get reincarnated as animals. There's definitely some connections because a lot of niggas look like animals. Okay, but oh, God, what, that's a crazy thing to say. What if like you got reincarnated to Jesus? That would be kind of tea, though. Look at it. I got a hand. I'm walking on water and shot. It's tea, but that shit will be weird. That would be some crazy shit. Your hands are gone for. <laughs> when when they, 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 they yes, bro. Oh, yo, oh, yo like, like imagine yo, reliving Jesus. Like, I think I can relive Not the strange. Sorry. All right, bro. <laughs> Yo, wait, we we stepping over the line. <laughs> yeah, apologize. Over, I think I'm I could sorry, re- I'm sorry. I think I could um handle what Jesus went through. No, bro. No, bro. nobody he's can. That's I why he's Almighty. Grace to God because I would fold oh, immediately. Sure. That nigga yeah, never like, said. No, like I remember watching like a live action in church, like how they reincarnate with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched but, that like, too. I was thinking about like I would have stopped right there. I'm not carrying that shit. They gonna have to kill me right then and there. Yeah, that's why he's Almighty, bro. He is, bro. I I, I would have folded. <laughs> First whip. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm breaking it down. I think it's going to hell. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey, I, I, I mean, I have another topic. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, it was from the thing I said earlier. Do y'all think body count matters? No. Wait. Depends. Mm. It depends how if she got what slutted. The fuck did you just hit it? Like, if, she gets, if she got slutted out bad, then it matters. Can we say that? Oh, yeah. Can we say that? Okay. okay. Like I mean, if, bro. Like, if she got did I bad. Feel like this, I feel like that's mad double standards, though. Like, I'm not even trying to say this, like, just to sound right. But I just feel like that is mad double standard. Like, if, bro, you can have 50 bodies, but she can't. Come on, bro. No, I'm not saying crazy. I'm not saying that. Niggas like have 50 before. bodies, bro. I don't even no want to lie. say anything because of what happened to me last time. You can't respect yourself with 50 or 17. Yeah, bro. of course. Yeah. I, yeah. What I, do you find time to find? To have sexual intercourse with fifty females at the age of seventeen. What are you Bro, doing? Be, what else do you do? I be, just I, I didn't even cut you off, my bad. But I feel like I value them the same way I value myself. So like if I choose to do it with like certain people and not everybody, and they doing it, they got like eight eighty nine and I got like three. Yeah. I feel like that's like, you know, it's kind that's of not like, balanced. Yeah. Cause there's no way eighty nine niggas, bro, come on, bro. Yeah, eighty nine niggas. There's no way you and I'm not trying to be double standard, but I'm saying there's no way that you like no, I'm not even gonna say that. I don't know. I just know I hold you to the same standard as myself, and I feel like you can't just do that with anybody because you know it's like a, it's a spiritual thing. I feel you. So y- y'all saying Maybe. y'all wouldn't mess with a female? I mean, a woman that had slept over with like ten dudes, and you slept with like three? No, I would. I, I don't. Know. I'm talking about taking serious. Like, what are the intentions? No dating. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't. I don't know if I would judge. I would just be mindful of it. Like, yeah. They could just be really um. What's Ooh, the word? They could, be, they could be. They could match you so well. They could match you so well, but have that many bodies. They could just be an active person for real. I guess. I wouldn't hold it against it. It was just something I'd be like. What's the word? Taking into consideration. But I don't think I would hold it against you. What about um? You date a girl that let a, that had a two man happen? Yeah. On her? Yeah. No. So a train? Yeah. No. That's why I about to two ask. Man, I'm about to say y'all I'm sorry, a girl. Two man in the. <clears throat> excuse me. A two man and a trainer are two different things. Yeah, they are. Wait, well, That's yeah. what I'm saying. So why you say two man? Is it a trainer or not? A, a two man is three men. A train is like a train. A train is a train is two men and a fe- it's two or more men and a female. That's a train. That's a I train. Mean, no, I feel like it's more than two. Yeah, I feel like it's more than two. A or train more. is more is more. A train people. is a football team. Yeah, that's what I think about when I think about a train. Yeah, but it's still a train. It's a train. It's a line. It's a train. Yeah, that's yeah. It's still a train if it's two niggas and one female. Ah, not it really. Yeah. It's a threesome. I, I, I it's a threesome. I, I, would, I would consider that a two man or a train is like, like, bro. We four. asking all these questions. Just hop on the hub, bro. Let's what? See. Okay. Four to I'm like, messing with a girl that had a threesome. Like, you said you want two dudes or 
two, one two, No, I can't because listen, bro. Two she, one female. That's kind of hard. Yeah, I'll mess with a girl with two females and one dude. But, bro, I can't do it with, if she want two guys and just her. Because if she want to have a threesome with me and then another dude, I'm I mean, sorry, but I'm going to be want, soft. She wants that other dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be able to be. Yeah, I can't, I, I, can't get, get right. I can't get right with another dude. To, to be honest, if you can take two other niggas, I'm sorry. I'm not competing with two other grown men. Yeah, I'm not dating. <laughs> I'm going to call it spade a spade. If you taking that and you still ain't getting off. We probably shouldn't even mess with you. How you not satisfied after that? Tight. Tight. Bro, I couldn't date nobody like Two bro. niggas, bro. That's two dicks. <laughs> going like, crazy. No, I'm going crazy. You know, I, I just can't. I can't put myself through. Because you know how they, how like they, you don't really know that at the beginning, but one day they, they want to tell you this little story about what happened to them in the past. And then that's what you, that's what you find out in the story. Oh my I'm, lying. I, just, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'd be in so much I'd be an astronaut. I'd feel pain. so different about them after that. Right? Not, not even like on a judging standpoint. I would just be like, Well, she told y'all that when y'all was married. Like she used to have trance all the time. Like Oh you know, my god. All the time in high school. Oh my like I mean she messed with teams after the football games. I before they make- took a shower. Oh, I would hell. slide down. I would slide down the wall, cry. You know what pain that would be. Oh I would not be able to forget that, bro. I would just think about that running, like driving away, like damn. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Yeah. That should made me so mad. Like, 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 you about to go to her job to go beat her? You just beat her. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> What is you talking about? Pulling up on her, bro. Beat her. Bro, I'm pulling up on her, bro. Why are you beat her? What's wrong? I'm talking about, no, no, like, no, no like, 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 like. Fuck! You oh, pulling up the fuck her at her oh. job? And like, if I'm in the car and I and she like come over to work, I'm on my lunch break. We gonna fuck? That's the first thing I'm gonna think about. Her getting ran through. It just pop up in your brain. It's gonna pop up in my brain. Dog, y'all at work? Why is y'all doing that at the job? Wait, yo! <laughs> <laughs> what considers a female to be ran through? Like, what's the a what's woman the, to be ran through? I don't give a female. Fuck. So, what considers a female to be ran through? Like what? What's the... if she if she if she fucking with a big ass friend group? Okay, but nah, we gotta Homie hold hopping. the same standards to, to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, if we say with them, then it's the same with us. Yeah, too. same with me. If I, I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck with a whole friend, a whole friend group. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. think I'm gonna get ran. I'm think I'm gonna get ran. That's through. a Playboy type. Bro, I will. I admit to like, if I'm out here fucking 15, 11 different females all the time, like. I'm ran through. I'm ran you through. Hell. Hell. You I'm, jump, I'm jumping through the through the hoops. Hey, I go cap. Nah, he don't watch the pod. I, I, I was talking to my coworker, and he was talking about some. Like he said, he don't know what's wrong with him, but he got a girl, and he said he don't like he don't know what's wrong with him, but he just can't stay with her. Like he can't, he can't like just be with her. He gotta be with another female. Like he gotta keep on jumping. Yeah, he gotta keep like having sex with other females. Not low, low key. That's like that's yeah. like that's like uh, that's a disease. No, no that's it's not. low key. How men? That's are how. Yeah, that's how men are. Yeah. Like that's literally fun. how we are made. We're, You're like, we're, attracted if to you other ever, people. You... I, I'm not saying like it's the right thing to do. Like it's obviously fucked up because we're humans, but like, and we should care about other things. But like, like if you look at like the animal kingdom, like. The man don't never stay with the they male. Don't never stay with the female. They, they always one female. move from one to another to they another to another. No, but we're a lot more intelligent. Than that's what I'm saying. Like, like, that's so what I'm saying. It's not okay. But, but I'm like, saying that's instinct, though. That's that's why some niggas. And it's like, uh, what's the word? What's that thing? Where you can't control it. It's like urge. Yeah, it's like an urge, but you have to like have self control and stuff. Yeah, like I'm that. saying like like that's the that's in their code. Like animals, they're made to do that. Like, and I feel like we're at the point where what. I mean, we could reproduce, but we, yeah, we just have more intelligence behind it. We have more, we have more um, emotions behind it. They don't have right. emotions behind it. We never answered care. the question. What considers a female to be ran through? All or right. a male? Well, either one. I to answer. Be honest, bro, I'm t- like, you out here. All right, bro. My thing is like, you, you're, that's not, that's not really a good answer. Spring you ran through like, what? Go ahead. What? Bro, just talk. Nah, bro. Y'all ran through if like. You out here like homie hopping, like he's he's his best friend. You go from him to the best friend. You out here like, yeah, like with another nigga every every day. That's what I do. I don't know. I really <laughs> y'all didn't see what I just saw. I really don't know how to categorize someone being ran through. To be honest, but I feel like it's a situation. Yeah. But I feel like if you ran through the same thing as being a hoe. So I guess it's just yeah. uh, just might be a hoe. Having a bunch of sexual partners, if that makes sense. In a short time frame. Yeah. Like if you beating ten females in a month, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy number, man. I feel like two a day is crazy. 
All right, say say spring two break. Say spring break. Spring break in two a day, you're a hoe, bro. For life. Spring, all right, spring break. Bro, spring break has nothing to do with nothing. Yes, it does. Listen, yes, it does. <laughs> spring break, you're in Niggas Miami. You're in Miami break, or in Cali. It doesn't matter where you, you are. You are smack dead in Miami. I could be a so I'm on now. How many bodies do you leave in Miami with? Keep it a rack. None. Bro, I don't pool, so. What the fuck I don't think it matters out there. To be yeah, honest. keep it right. Bro. Why does it? That, that, like, that, that, that shit does not. They let anything happen to me. Bro, none. Like, I'm not. Bro, I'm trying to take it to. Bro, bro, that's because I'm like. I'm in a relationship. I mean. You agree? Why you going to always do that? Exactly. You're going to put you on the spot. You agree? But, but this uh, nigga's single. This nigga's single. Personally. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't get in either, but... Bro, because y'all don't know what people got down there. And they, they be that so, is true, bro. They be so for it. Like, that is easy. Like, bro, you could meet hey, them you that fuck? day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, I, y'all be, I know y'all be seeing them YouTube niggas, bro. They be, they be getting... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason is why. They be risen, niggas. Like, bro. Like, that shit look... They be making me low key uncomfortable. I ain't gonna lie. They be so Comedy like some of the shit they be oh. doing is like like nigga that is sexual assault. That's yes, harassment. Bro. Okay. They be grabbing their face. Because, yeah, like, bro, like when they look away. I feel like with them videos, like they they tell them what they finna do before they do. Like, I feel like no, I feel like I feel like they girls know already because it's already a trend. Yeah, that's what they, I'm saying. They, they like, know he knows about to happen. Yeah, you, you see a nigga walk up walking around with a camera. I'm already expecting. Yeah. I'm already knowing what's Which, going on. So if y'all was in Miami, would y'all go to females or would y'all want them to come to y'all? They coming to me. I'm not going up to them. Wait, are you going to be sliding up on females? It depends I feel like, it. Depends on I feel like it should be mutual. Like, am I at the beach? Yes. You're on the no, street. At the beach. Miami, I'm at the street. I'm at the beach. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, say say a female. Yeah, like, I might be sliding at the street, but I won't be sliding at the beach. I'll be chilling at the beach. And like, That's where everything happens is at the beach. At the strip is yeah. At, at the strip I feel like everything at Miami, everything is everywhere. I feel like that should be mutual. The vibe, Miami is just anybody. the Miami vibe. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Miami, when you go to Miami, it's just the Miami vibe. Like anything can happen anywhere. It don't matter which area of Miami you're in. Nah, you sure? It is like a party scene though, and then like a chill scene. I just feel like Miami is the party scene. Nah. That, You're dragging it. I never been, so I can't really say. Yeah, that. I, I ain't never. Tried, wait, tried. I have been to Miami. I've been to Miami, but I was, I was tired. young though, bro. I, that's, bro, I ain't gonna cap. I, I love my parents for the vacations we go on, but I gotta go somewhere like with friends, bro. Yeah, like that shit won't be just so. It's, it's a better vibe. Yeah, it's nigga, a better you ain't, you ain't vibe, bro. Set up the cruise, nigga. What's up? Next God. screen break, bro. On God, we're gonna record that shit too, bro. That shit. Gonna be that shit gonna be. Yeah, y'all can get the. Y'all can get the cruise. We can't go there summer because yeah, it's way too late. Bro, I'm glad I go to a cruise. I ain't never Same. been on a water for real, to be honest. So that'd be tea. I've never been on a cruise. I always wanted to travel with my friends. That's what I'm saying. It'll just be like a lot more tea. Like, like, don't get me wrong, bro. Like, traveling with your family, cool and all, but like, it's I, more restricted. But it's a yeah, family. You can't, you can't do yeah, you what can't you really want. Do what you want to do for real, bro. Like, I just, I just like bro. you got to be inside when they're inside. I'm yeah. outside. Like, bro, I remember I got in trouble in Mexico because I was even in my room. Like, it was like three o'clock in the morning. I was in my room. Like, come on, bro. We in Mexico. You I'm not in my room. All right, you, you kind of chill. Three o'clock Nigga, in the morning. Nigga, it's in Mexico. <laughs> you, I'm not in my room. I'm not going to lie. They was plotting. You would have got chopped up. Yeah. <laughs> we was in a resort. We was going to get sent somewhere. We was oh, yeah, somewhere. if y'all was in a resort, we was, was going to have to chilling. come find you. We was chilling, bro. Is a resort like a whole community? Like, what are y'all No, no, a, a resort. A resort. I thought it was just a whole it's like, it's like, no, it'd be like a whole community. Yeah, it's like a whole, kind of, it's huge though. Resorts are really big. A resort's got everything. You don't everything. have to leave the resort. You don't got like, like, to leave. Like, you they got the beach. They got everything right there. Yeah. Oh. Everything. Jungle like, right there. Yeah, they're everything. built on like square acres of the beach. Who was you with? Nigga at 3 a.m. I was just teased. You by yourself? Yeah, oh, God. They let anything slide, bro. I was by myself at the bar, but like, I was talking to niggas. Like, we were oh, just chopping it up, bro. Your... Yeah, we just That's fighting, valid. Like, exactly. I'm That's... saying. Like, we were talking bro. about sports and stuff. And that was the time during the uh, NBA Finals. So we just got done watching the Finals. We were just t- topping it up like random niggas. Oh, you probably though. got lost track of time and shit. Like, Duh. Yeah, you chilling. You know how many daiquiris I had? Yeah, you could. That's a vibe. That's chilling, bro. That's a vibe. I was too young to drink, but... They, they, they let like, anything slide. That's why I like foreign country. They let anything slide, bro. Nigga, it's not like they let it slide, but it's just their policy. Like, you can be 18 and drink. True. Bro, I'm, yeah, but I'm trying to do, like, a trip. Like, that shit would be so T. Because when you go with your family, it's a whole different vibe. Type shit. You got to be respectful of people's, you know, sleep time, sleep pattern. That's when they wake up. 
We all fight tomorrow. And then you got to eat when they eat tights. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, I'm not trying to be on no schedule, but I'm just trying to get tea. Yeah, I, I, I think it's better when you're on vacation and just do something on the fly. Like, yes. y'all want to go bowling? What's up? What's that's up? what I'm that's saying. Like, bro, right. I hate having it, a schedule. I hate you go on vacation and they got a fucking schedule that's for what, everything. Dog, like, bro, that's what I'm saying. Then, I hate that shit, too. Niggas choose the worst places to eat at. It be blowing yes. me. Like, no, nah, nah, go, my people do. The food be, like, every, I swear to God, every place we went was terrible in Virginia, except... Um, this piece of place in Godfathers that was smack. Everything I heard Virginia was terrible. I heard that spot. No, my yeah, family, my family, smack. my family be T. They know what they doing. Especially my mom. She knows what she doing. I just hate going on vacation and having to wake up early. Dog, I'm on vacation. Why Actually, am I waking up early? I like to wake up early because you get to spend the whole day doing something. Like yeah, that. but wait, what's early to you? Early seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not waking seven? up. Seven. Woke up at seven in the morning. Yes, we will have to wake up seven in the morning I'm just to do about, shit. Like, I'm talking dog, about I'm not nine doing time. Yeah, nine, time. nine. Ten, eleven. Nine. Ten, eleven. No, I just and then the I no, no. Day. I like waking up to get breakfast. Now I go back to my hotel room and sleep and then get ten, up. Ten, eleven and go is right the middle of the day. Ten, eleven is not the what? middle. Of the ten, day. eleven is the uh, middle. Eleven. You wake up at eleven o'clock. Twelve is the exact middle of the day. One to four is considered the middle of the day. Right. One to four is the middle. Twelve o'clock is the middle of the day. No, no, no that's, that's the beginning of the day. Come on, we're not talking about the nigga. Clock, if, nigga. If, if twelve o'clock, but if, oh, I'm if we if all right, hold on, I gotta change my idea because like with my parents, twelve is the middle of the day. Like if I go on a family vacation, that's the middle of the day. With y'all, twelve like one to four would probably be the middle of the day because we stay up later. Dog, if I'm with my peoples, I'm I'm bro, I'm out my room. I'm not getting back to my room till six in the morning. That's what I'm saying. Like, dog, that's the type of junk I'm trying to be on. Oh, yeah. That would be true. Like, bro, I'm I don't not in, be in my room, room at all. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm all, in my room to sleep after that's that. That's it. That's the only thing like, you've been in the room But for, my bro. type of vacation is like, you go for maybe like a week or so. And you have, you just go, you got money. Like, obviously, you can get back home and you can buy shit out there that you need. And you just go with no plan. That's what you I'm saying. You get to your room and one day you wake up, y'all have no idea what the fuck y'all finna do, but y'all leave the room and go do something and don't come back till later. That's what I'm saying. That would be just OT, bro. Like, just find some shit to do. I just can't stand like having. I mean, I feel like for family vacations, you kind of need a schedule. Yeah, you do need a schedule. Yeah, or like y'all need, need to plan something for the day. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all gonna be like, they be trying to take naps. <laughs> bro, yeah, I we gonna go home. Go I, to room cap, I be needing a nap, bro. Sometimes, like it depends on when you wake up. Like midday, okay, and you go back out later. Bro, we be because we be trying to wake up and catch breakfast. Breakfast be like seven to ten. Like, oh, I went. To, no, I just went to sleep at six I'm o'clock. Saying. That's that what free I'm breakfast, saying. something crazy though. I'm waking up. I'm waking up to get that breakfast. Their their breakfast. I never had it. Is it smart? Their breakfast be slap. I never wake up on time. Hotel Anywhere breakfast. I go, oh, hotel, yeah, hotel breakfast, breakfast they be yeah, the intercontinental breakfasts, bro. Hotel breakfast, their their food be good. They have so I, yeah. I, I, that's what I do. I wake up. You ever had a quiche, nigga? A quiche? Yeah, I had a quiche. Quiches are good. Exactly. exactly. It's like a. It's like <laughs> exactly. A, it's like a. I don't know how to describe. It. It's like breadish type shit. It's like bread crumbled, like a pie type thing. Yeah, it's like and then eggs. Yeah. And then anything else you want to put in. Like oh. they, like a, it's like a. You know what a ham cup is? Yeah, I mean, ham cup. A ham cup. They have, it's like ham cups. Shit smack. Shit slap. Dev, you don't eat food, so. Oh, exactly. God. I've never heard none of this, bro. But, like, uh, damn, what was I going to say? Do y'all, before y'all, like, say y'all go to the beach, and y'all go do something, and that day y'all want to go to the beach, do y'all family, like, go back to the room before y'all go to the beach, or do y'all go from what y'all was doing to the beach? Nigga, we, 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 if we're going to the. <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> bro, chill out, chill out. If we, uh, if we decide to go to the beach that day, we're leaving with our swim trucks on, and we're oh, going God. like that. Like in Cancun, <laughs> we went from we went from riding in a we was in this little thing. I don't know, what, I don't know what it's called. They got some weird shit in that Cancun. We was in this little thing, and we went from a jungle to the beach, back to a jungle to the resort. See, that's what I'm trying to be. Like we we was just jumping from everywhere. That's what I'm trying to be. Y'all yeah, been horseback bro. riding before? Bro, horseback riding is so fucking difficult. It's really not. Like it's, I just don't like kicking the horse. The horse doesn't fucking listen to me. No, <laughs> he mad. I'm, I'm so. Got the back of his head. Like, bro, I went <laughs> with this one. Per- I went with this um, this one group of people, and my horse wouldn't fucking listen to me. It was just going where it wanted to go, and I was doing what they told me to do. You're like, I ended up behind the shed. <laughs> I ended up behind the shed, and we were just standing there for a good three minutes. The I don't. Was- I don't like horseback riding because you got to kick the horse to for it to move. And I don't, for real? Yeah. Like, you like you got to kick bad. inside. Like you got to. No, that's od. What, what about what about you know what I mean? That doesn't work. You that's gotta yeah to nigga. steer. You gotta pull it. You gotta pull a gun back. Yeah, you have to pull his head. Like, yeah, bro, I don't like that. I feel that's like, like that's, that's like, like animal. Abuse. He wasn't listening, so I started getting a little rough with him. I was like, 
And I feel like, oh man, I'm being like really, I'm being like an asshole. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My boy, my boy wanted a break, bro. Like, no, I would just, like, I just, I let my, I let my horse ride away. At one point, I just gave up and started letting the nigga walk so around. I'd be scared for that shit to stump on me if I fail. And God, like, that no, shit kick so up and kick your ass off. Like, nigga, I'll beat that horse ass. You see that video? Oh, I'm slowly not a touching a horse. You think you whooping a horse? You know how strong a horse is, bro? I'll tip that thing If a horse step on you, you're probably going to die. No, that From, shit will crush. Well, all I gotta do is hit him with a mean one. You ever seen a crushing Clydesdale? You know how tall horses are. Horses are tall as hell. Have you ever God. seen? You ever seen a Clydesdale? What are the you talking you about? It's a type of a horse. It's a type of a horse. Nobody knows that. It's like, a horse, bro. You is on that big? I'm not gonna lie. You on dick? You on dick? Is it the world biggest horse? This nigga catchphrase. You on dick? You I'm not gonna lie. You on dick? You on? You on dick? Get that tattoo. But what? Like what the fuck? You on dick? But but it's like it's this horse. It's the horse that be pulling the carriages. A regular ass horse. Oh, those big ass horses. Yes, they're big as fuck. Oh, what time is it? Well, on another note, <laughs> what do y'all think are three qualities that make somebody a man? Yes, yeah, I want to talk about that one. Integrity. Self respect. You got to have respect for yourself, bro. Tight. Hygiene. Hygiene. That's, Tight. that's valid as hell. Because if you walk around here bummy and stink as hell, that shit make me mad. I, I can't take a nigga serious. Like, like if a like. Not to be rude or anything, like, if a bum-ass nigga coming to me trying to, not trying to, like, teach me something, but, like, try to, like, try me on some shit, I can't take a nigga serious. Right? Like, what's the third just, one? Uh. Oh, what's, mm. um, what's the word? Uh, you said, um, I can't, like, um, common sense. Yeah, you gotta have common sense. Like, I feel like that means yeah, anybody, like anybody. I was straight like, common sense with street smart. That is the worst list I've ever heard in my life. What's your list, nigga? Nigga says self respect. No, but being I mean, clean and common sense. I feel like no, no, no. Because we, I said one. I said one, and mine was uh, hygiene. Hygiene, yeah. I didn't say the other two. I don't. I don't have another two, but that's just one. I said number one. Number one is integrity. I don't even know what integrity. I is. swear to God, I said that, but I was making a <laughs> it's joke. It's like. You know, you know the saying, you never know when somebody's watching, so you should always like, you know, do, do the right thing. Right. That's like integrity type. Oh, integrity yeah, yeah, yeah. is like okay, that's bad, staying right. true to who yeah, you are. Yeah, just stay true. It's like you just doing what you're supposed to do. Type shit. Like don't yeah. switch up for nobody. Like right. if and you wouldn't do it normally, don't do it. In some respect, I feel like you uh providing for your family makes you one too. And then I don't know the third one to be honest. Being honest. Oh, stand on your word. Well that has to do with integrity though, right? I think so. Yeah, that's kind of integrity. Stand on your word. It tells you to just like stand strong. Yeah, I feel yourself. like that's one of the main qualities of like any like man man. Yeah. Man man. <laughs> man, man. man, man. John Jones. <laughs> 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 what's that shit? Don't look John at me John like that. Crazy. What's um what's three things y'all think every man should own? A gun. Okay. Why was I thinking the same shit? A gun. What's wrong you with need you a gun in today's society. Same. What's wrong with you? He's valid. Well, I mean, you need yeah, a gun. like I feel like but that's not that meant doesn't make you like a Think of a man's own. What's your three then? A gun, a woman, and. What? Oh, she, oh no! I know. I know. I'm like, not saying that. Like, woman? I'm not saying. I'm not saying like she an object, but I so don't want to be without a woman. I feel like I can't. I can't live my life without a woman. Yeah, behind a good man is always a better woman. A that's better a woman, exactly. Thing. That's crazy. That's Actually, crazy not behind thing. a good man. Beside. Sorry, beside, yeah, beside a good man is a good woman. You feel like you can't live your life without a woman? No, no. I feel like I can, but. They I need, yeah, they, yeah. they, they make you a way better. I'll just, yeah, just, like, for example, my mother. I, I feel like I need a woman in my life. I need, not like that, but I need, yeah, right. I, I need a woman. That's all I need a woman in my life. I can't that's just have, I can't. Woman. Like, I don't, I don't need a girlfriend. I, if I have my mom, I'm sure. yeah, I just, I just need some type of womanly figure in my life. What's number three? That's a good number answer. three. Uh, gun, woman, myself. That's it. It's not, it's not really. Is that's on my only two? That's think, all so I you got. think you should have I mean, like like things you could buy? What you mean? Like things like you, a should, wallet, you should a suit. own. So yeah. there's stuff own. A suit. <laughs> <laughs> a suit. I don't understand when people say a man should always have a good suit. No, like, bro, come just, on, business. I, I can't stand dressing up, bro. Business, oh, God. business, I, business. You gotta, you have to have like suit and tie and stuff and the jacket and stuff. That should be pissed you off. You have that's to, too hot bro. If you, bro. Once you start, I feel like you start to like it because you yeah, start to like right, different yes. combos and stuff. Oh, sure, but I feel you, like get, you have to have hella bread. They, like, they treat people differently, though. You see that that's a fact, though. Your image is all. 
they that's treat valid. people they treat people differently. If we, if we would have walked into that bank with Susan on God, they would have got us done in ten minutes. Yeah, they would have been having sitting there. talking to that lady, or they would have found somebody else to come from another branch, and we would have been they would have got us on the that spot. Is valid, exactly, man. your image is all. Well, if we was like about four shades lighter, they would have got us. Yeah, if we walked in there, we was all looking like Cam. You would have been straight. All right, but What's the, what, what am I gonna say? You on my you dick. on my dick. <laughs> I don't know my three. You said five. I mean, you said three things that every man should own. Yeah. Uh, if you don't say gun, you just delusional. I don't need a gun to be a man. A car, yeah, yeah. A car is. I say a car, a credit card, mm-hmm. and the house. Yeah. I said car, house, and gun. You don't need a gun to be a man. I mean, not, not to be a man, man, but I feel like every man should just have one. I'd rather have a, oh, no. I'd rather have a woman than a house. I mean, things you can buy. <laughs> what you things you can buy. Bro, I feel like every man a needs a needs a good suit, cologne, and you worry more about your appearance. Fragrance. You need a box spray, right, nigga. Can I finish the third? I'm right, just saying, right. but like those first two is more about your appearance. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. A bro. good suit, cologne, and like I mean, I was saying things you could buy, and like yeah. I think so. Like, like some type of something to educate your mind. A, like book. a book, anything. Or any laws of power. Like, crossword puzzle. Just something to educate you. That's a valid book. You I have know. games on my phone to educate me. Like flow. <laughs> Fruit ninja and shit. Go crazy. No, that what doesn't the educate is? you, nigga. Mm. I'm talking about puzzles. Oh. And what's your three? I literally just said it. Say it again. I swear to God, I'm not. That's crazy. Indulge us. We're gonna wait. You yeah, put it on we'll God, too. I, yeah, wait, I too. put it on God, so I'm not going to say it. I guess she's going to wait. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't know. I guess we can cut the pot. Uh, well, you a it's hoe. too late. He has integrity. Bro, I literally said my three, though. Y'all remember what Man, I said? He said you know? gun. He said oh, you gun said car gun? house. Yes. And I, I said, said gun car house. No, you didn't. You oh, I said, said no. You said credit card. No. Like, what? Yeah. Nigga, you need a credit card. I don't think you need a credit card. Well, you need good credit. You don't need a credit card. How you going to get good credit without a credit card, Cameron? Ah, shit. Oh, I didn't think you needed a credit card. I didn't know that's like that. Yeah, I think you need a car to pull a fee- uh, girl. A, a car? car? Yeah. No. If you don't have a car, you're... first of all, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. If you don't have a car, and, it, and it's not to talk down on nobody, but females gonna look down on you, bro. Oh, okay. No. This nigga was right. But I'm saying, like, bro, cause they, like, it, it's gonna sound bad, but nigga, females look at you like, bro, I'm driving a that nigga is around. True, bro. Like, even it's a double standard because you got a female around all the time. She could be a whole bum. And yeah. it don't matter. God. But if you don't have a car, you could be working. If you don't have a car, but, but they're gonna look at you like some females. Look, some females like don't mind that though. Yeah, but that's like literally like zero point one percent. And they be cat, bro. What you mean? They say they say it's weird for you, me to drive you around all the time. But if I was the one driving her around, it's normal. That's a double standard. Like you're a bum. If I, I'm a bum for not having a car, then you are too. But I got a question. How do you feel when she's driving you around? Oh, I'm not letting a female drive me around. Like, I feel, so this this might this might be a little sexist. I'm gonna call it spade to spade. Y'all niggas can't drive. Tight. I don't know yeah. one Tight. only only woman and I, I'm not trying. This is you call it what you want. Only woman I know that can drive is my mother. Yeah, literally. Yeah, my mom's a good driver. No well. female, no other females I know no, that I've been in the car with cannot good. drive. My bro, sister, like, my oldest sister could drive. She could drive good. Y'all be scaring me. That's the only reason I wouldn't want to drive with no female because y'all, like, y'all so indecisive. I seen a, I've, I've rode with a girl who took a turn, like, to get into, like, a uh, like supermarket type thing. Like, you know, we turned off the main road into the, yeah. bro, took it with no brakes. We was going like thirty miles an hour through that. Time. She just slid down. No <laughs> brakes. I didn't know I, I was, I've never been so scared in my life. But it's like, but like, like the first question I was I had asked. I feel like, so I've ridden with 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 like I've had girls ride me around. Yeah, fix your toes. Yeah, nigga. please. I keep on telling you, bro. Nigga, grip riding me around. Are you arching your feet. Well, no, say, I'm gonna say, it, say it. Say it. You on my dick. Nigga, gripping the car. Christ, you need hard work. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I like I was riding with her because I hadn't got my car yet. Riding around everywhere, like, and. I just couldn't do it, so I had like I would. She would come over and I'd drive her car. Like it made me feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, cause honestly, I feel like I feel like it's like a we're programmed to think like females can't do stuff like that for us, like pay for our food, even like Tight. keep it that. You, a gentleman, you thing. even though you be wanting her to pay, you still be paying sometimes. Yes, you like, bro, I don't want to like someone else. 
providing for me in a sense. Right. That's just like because of programming and like how we've been brought up and stuff. I feel the same way. But I was going to say I like being pampered, but it's like that's different though. What do you mean by that? Like What's being pampered? pampered? Like, oh, like getting take care of. Like, girl, do your hair, clean you. Not like clean, clean you. Clean you. Like you want someone to wipe your slaves, <laughs> no, that, <laughs> Nah, yeah. No, like, hey, take care of you, like, you. cook for you. That's valid. Like, like, I, I, I like being like pampered. That. I like being pampered, but, like, in a sense like that, I feel like it should be fair. Like, it, it'll be nice if you want to, like, if you want to, if a female is, I'm not say it. If, a woman. if she's, if a woman, shut up. If she's willing to, like, if she's willing to look out and like you should do, do that, thing. yeah, you should do the same That's thing. That's valid. If she's not, then it's like why, you don't care, nigga. Like you want me to do everything? It should, I have it should be a sense of like genuineness between the two. Like some stuff, independence. You do like say um what's it? What's a good example? I don't know. I don't know a good example, but I feel like it should just go both ways. I don't feel like it should be one person doing everything. But as far as that driving thing. I would feel weird as crap if a female drove me around everywhere I went. Everywhere right? though, and if she paid for everything we ever did. Exactly. I'm gonna feel so like I would. I would break up with her if I was in that position. I'll break up with her. Hey, I'll feel you bad. Broke, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I would, no, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I would feel bad. Oh, yeah, like, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't. I, would, I can't. I, I wouldn't waste like that's wasting her bread and all that. Like I would break up with her. Man, like you got something. What the hell? I was just saying like just nothing wrong with that. What y'all? You don't think there's nothing wrong with that female doing female doing everything and paying for everything and take you everywhere? No, bro. Sure. That's what she wanna do. That's what she wanna I do. Don't know, man. I but couldn't do it. Thing, my thing I is, personally couldn't do it. Once y'all break up, what they gonna say? I did everything, fat nigga. And that that means it wasn't genuine from the start. But did you but offer type. I mean, but but I'm what I'm saying is that I asked. No, you just let her do it. it exactly. I let her do it. So no, no, but no, they don't no, hold no, it against you and be like, you broke, I did everything for you, I drove you everywhere, you had no I had car. but like at the end of the day, did you have money? Did did you have money to pay for your stuff? Yes. Okay. What's the problem? No, but no, you no. offered. This is, so this, I'm is, gonna, this is in a sense that you didn't have money. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. You oh, didn't, I didn't have, have money. Yeah, you didn't yeah. have. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm breaking up where oh, I'm not yeah. going. I'm gonna yeah. feel bad. Yeah. So what, what y'all think the balance should be as far as like, say I make the exact same income every two weeks. What y'all think the balance should be when, when it comes to pay for stuff? 50-50. 50-50 for sure. 70-30. 70-30. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. When it comes to okay. bills, 70-30? No, everything. Anything. 70 I feel like the, in the house, the men pays the mortgage. The woman pays the utilities, like lights, water, shit like that. Yeah, that's that's how it's supposed and to. You be. pay the mortgage, and then y'all both go, ha- y'all both go half on half in groceries. Nah, she'll pay the groceries, nigga. You think she's paying for all the groceries? Because think about sell? it, I I'd be paying the phone line. I mean, you be cheating. I be paying the phone line, the car insurance, the car payments, all that. So you can you can buy you can spend four hundred dollars in groceries every two. I mean, not every two weeks, but a month, bro. And utilities. Yeah, they need to lose. What? what time All right, that's you? valid. That's valid as hell. It's, I don't know. It feel weird, personally. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Personally, oh, personally oh, I'm doing, I'm going half on groceries. That's for both of us. Even though it's all for both of us, that's like food. You can't, like, food, I have to go half. How y'all feel about, like, um, what's the word? What's the word? I don't what's know the what's the word? word. I'm trying to think. Like, do y'all, so, do y'all think a female should cook for y'all? Yeah. Nah. You don't? Mm, I, mean, I feel I'd like to cook. I would like to cook together. Yeah, cooking together is the funniest. Nigga, you work a 12-hour shift. You work a 12-hour mm-hmm. shift and you come home, you're going to be wanting to cook together. Yeah, I, I would do that. With this, man. Exactly, your chef. 1930, man. <laughs> Chill, Who working a 12-hour shift, man? Exactly, 12. <laughs> what? Did your pops not be working 12-hour shifts sometimes? I'm pretty sure he yes. wouldn't want to come home and cook. Like, He's going to be tired, right? No, I would, I would I want to come home and cook. People make cooking out to be like this giant task and oh, it's so hard, bro. It's a yeah, very soothing thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's looking yeah, it, 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 yeah, that's why I want to It's chill. Out. It's a vibe. So like, you working a 12 hour shift on your feet all day. You coming home, taking a shower, and cooking. Yes. Yes, yes most definitely. Yes. I'll probably warm me up some. Now, yeah, I'm cooking I'm most... a full course meal. You got one main dish and two sides. Listen, listen, listen. If I come home from work and I know my wife is cooking, or she's in a process of cooking. I'm going to take a shower and I'm helping her cook. Oh my! Oh yeah, help her cook. What I'm saying, except if he was at work all day and she ain't doing, she's just sitting there. Oh, the oh yeah, no, no, you're no. gonna be pressed when you get home. Working I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be that pressed. And there was like she did absolutely nothing. Like if everything's That's dirty. What I'm saying. So. No, I don't say she got cook and clean for me, but like some. Right, what done. she just didn't feel like it. Okay, I, that's understandable, but if you don't feel like it all the time. That's different. Like it's an everyday type thing. I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking about like okay, two times a week, even three. Okay, that's understandable. But every day, you're not, you're not feeling it. You're going to feel like you're the only one putting in some work. Does she have a job? 
No. No, she in the crib. If she in the crib, the meal should be. On I just feel like that's just so like old. No, not old, but uh, not. What's it called? Uh, Sexist? No. Uh, stereotype. Stereotypical. stereotypical? Yeah. That's How's that stereotypical? I feel like I feel like relationships are supposed to have roles, though. It, I don't think it's. I don't think it's supposed to be gender roles. I think it's supposed to have roles in general. Like the man can cook, he can clean the house Tight. if he's not working. But that's just it gotta people be, might view him as a, you know. But that's he yeah. doing what he got to do for the family. You right? got you gotta you gotta have a role. You have to play a part. That's it's a saying. team. So would y'all, y'all be a stay at home dad? If she bringing in she 200 is, mil, I'm cooking the best I meals in the city. Oh, you call me a God. five star chef. I ain't gonna lie. Oh God, I gotta do something. But I feel like a bum. Type. Bro, exactly. Okay, I need to be productive yeah, in some way. I wouldn't want nobody to. That's that means she control every aspect of my life dealing with finances. If you think about it, yeah. exactly. So she could shut your shit down ass, real quick. She dropped me as rats. But then again, okay. But that divorce. At least you would know. Yeah. Tight, 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 tight. We we'll get pre nutted. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate the one K. And that's all right.